Daryl Hogan and Paul Doyle over this free kick for Dundalk now. Two men in the Cork City wall. Dundalk with plenty of players inside that six-yard box, jostling for position. It'll be Hogan to take it towards the back post, and it's in! And it's Hayden Muller, I think, who's got the goal. Dundalk lead by a goal to now. Dangerous position for the free kick, and Dundalk made it down. It's Dundalk 1, Cork City now. Really good ball in by Daryl Hogan. He just clipped it to the back post into a lovely area between the keeper and the back four. But from a Cork City perspective, the tallest man in the Dundalk team is a free header inside your six yard box. He didn't have to run, he just nodded into an empty goal. So Lee Buckley will not be happy with that. But from the dock, it's very positive. Good ball in. I think see he's standing on his own at the back post, just nodding it into an, to an empty goal. It looked like it was Gilchrist, it was, it was man marking him there, and he just got caught ball watching. Darren Brownlee. Now Muller. One two with Durant, and he's managed to help that on to Daryl Horgan. Horgan looking for Huben, Gilchrist has played it off the Galwegian, and that's a loose one back, and Darren Horgan emphatically fires that home. Well, the mistake was made by Conor Drynan, and Darren Horgan didn't need a second invitation. One touch in the second, an emphatic finish past Oliver Byrne, and it's Dundalk to Cork City now. And again, it's been role reversal here, the Dundalk have scored a goal out of nothing, poor defending. Initially, it's a very poor ball, but, but Daryl Hogan initially, and then the header back with Dryan, he doesn't see Hogan sneaking in. So he's allowed Hogan take a touch, and he smashed the pass for him, gave him no chance whatsoever. But, but it's come from nothing, and Lee Buckley will be really, really disappointed with that defending again. Well, it certainly appears that Derry City losing to Sligo on Friday night, and now St Pat's, if that should stay like that. Neither St. Pat's or Derry City really wanting to chase Shamrock Rovers down for the title, it would appear, as Durant sends one in. And it's Paul Doyle who's in there. Now it's Darrell Hogan, and it's in. It's an old goal. I think it's Keane Coleman with the last touch. Hogan wheels away, but it's certainly come off a pair in green. I think it's Keane Coleman. It's Sundock 3, Cork City now. And it's all gone wrong for Cork City here again. Go out of the blue from not. It's a half decent ball in from Durant and looking for Paul Doyle. It's good defending, but as it's popped up, Darrell Horry, he's got to try and head it back across goal. And I think it came off, I think it was Gilchrist and just wrong foot of the goalkeeper again. And Cork City have to be, especially they've got to be shaking themselves. What have we done to be three goals down? And it's a good ball in and it's well defended, but just here, once it pops up, Darrell, he's got to head it back over to Paul Doyle. And I think it was Keane Coleman, as you said, coming in, is off his chest in. Cork City's away form certainly didn't augur very well for them coming into this one. And that's a loose one by Archie Davies, and Rory Keating will look to take advantage. Oh, oh and save. he struck the post. It's saved by Nathan Shepard. Oh, and another save by Shepard. It was almost presented to O'Brien Whitmarsh. And, well, a let off for the talk then. Really calamitous defending from the dog there, and Rory Keating again, he, he was so sharp. The first little sniff it was, a, it was a double whammy by Archie Davis. First of all, the poor header across. And Keating, he's done everything right. He's, he's arrowed it to the far post. Shepard has just got enough. And, get, and then like, Archie Davis, he's trying to take a touch inside the six yard box. Three players ahead of him looking for Durant on that left hand side. That's a wonderful ball. And Durant is on to it. Durant, can he finish? Saved by Byrne. Superb cross field ball by Archie Davis. Shepard. Slug it again. Hubert for Durant. Lovely first touch by Durant to feed the ball out in front of himself. And now his pace, Durant. Still Durant. Still Durant going the long way around. Can he find the finish? Oh, he can! Sam Durant! What a run! And what a goal! His first for the club. And it's a memorable one. It's done talk for Cork City now. Really, really good goal this time from the dog, and it's all started. Pat Hoover just dropping in to that deeper position. He's taking a touch, put it over the fullback's head for Durant, and showed great pace and great awareness just to cut across the, the defender. The defender there, and once he's got to the edge of the box, you kind of think he's going to hit it.
but it was his avenue was blocked and he cut across, cut across, and eventually he ends up on the, on the back post and still had the whereabouts of himself just to whip it into that near post. Really, really good finish when he gets into this position. He's quite strong, John, isn't he? He is, and I'm just looking at that. that is it another known goal by King Coleman? He was Keating. John Martin seizes upon the loose ball. Gilchrist can't stop him. Keating, that's a really good ball to Cameron Elliott. Oh, and he struck the post and it's away. Here's Gordon Walker. Former Cove Ramblers player with the ball in towards Keating. It's up the crossbar. And Aaron Bolger was looking to put it home. But it was Cameron Elliott with the clearance. So close for Keating. Really good ball into the box. And Keating, done, he's done everything he could. He's got a lovely little header on it glanced it over Shepard come off the bar and I don't know who dove, dove in with, to, to kick it off the line but to, you can see here it's a lovely ball in just whipped in with great pace and Keating's done so well Alfie Lewis Lewis for O'Kane now O'Kane O'Kane now Lewis Lewis has done well to hold on to the possession Davies Davies with that cross in towards John Mark. Oh, and it's five. Archie Davies at the heart of it again. It's a superb cross by Davies to pick out Mark. And Mark obliges with his eighth goal of the season in all competitions. It's some dog five. Cork City now. And once again, it's Archie Davies. Another assist to add, add to his, his collection this year. Once the ball put, played back to him, he, he's just locked up. And he's played a wonderful ball that's in behind the back four. Born can't come out and John Martin just guides his head up past him but it's all made with this delivery just one touch a little look up and he's whipped a lovely little bend and a little shape on it and then John Martin's giving the keeper absolutely no chance but Archie Davis take it about you said arguably oh what's this nasty arguably the best full back and right full in the, in the country this year Lovely crossfield ball by Alfie Lewis to find Ryan O'Kane with the shot and it's spelled by Byrne and put behind by Keane Coleman before Cameron Elliott can make it six. Dundalk looking for their biggest scoreline of the season. Ryan O'Kane. Here he is again. O'Kane back for Durant. We said it earlier on that the only side, only Premier Division side he hasn't kept a clean sheet against. Here's Rory Keating into the wall. Keating again in once more. And Murphy, that's off target. And that is it. Nathan Shepard has his clean sheet. Dundalk have five goals here this evening. And they carry the points as they look to build some momentum and put a horrific month behind them. They've taken all three points here. Dundalk five, Cork City nil, John.